you my top 10 favorite memories from my Hawkeye experience so far. I'm gonna start off with my 10 favorite memory and definitely it has to be the eighth grade musical, which was the iconic Wizard of Oz. I actually have the DVD right here. Anyway, I wasn't in a really big role, but it was actually a lot of fun. I got to sit backstage and watch the performance live on the little cameras back there. And I was sitting with friends and we would play card games and we would have snacks. And we also got to do our hair and makeup and the makeup was super dramatic for like the stage. So that is definitely one of my favorite memories. My next favorite memory is definitely gonna be my first ever coffee house, which I actually went to a couple weeks ago. I have my outfit right here, super fun nice and colorful it's so much fun going there because you get to see everybody go in their outfits and a lot of people are super fashionable which is kind of fun and what coffee houses are is basically it's hosted by the fine arts board and it's like a talent show and people can sing they can read some poetry they can also do drama i know the improv team was there and we have two sophomores who performed that i don't know how many are on the improv team but the improv team was there, two of my sophomore friends performed, and it was hilarious, I loved it, and they had snacks and everything. Of course, we social distanced and wore masks the whole time. There was even an intermission where they had chalk for us to play with. They also had this water balloon game where you threw a water balloon filled with paint and you colored a canvas, super fun. Coffee houses are definitely 10 out of 10, and I'm going to be going to more in the future. Okay, my next favorite memory, which is my eighth favorite memory, is probably going to be going to breakfast every morning with my friends at Hawkaday. Now, we're not doing it this year. It's a little different because of Corona and everything. But last year, my freshman year, I ate breakfast at Hawkaday like every day. I ate with my friend Amber, my friend MG, Megan. Every Friday, they serve waffles. I remember every Thursday evening, I text my friend Amber and I'd be like, Amber, it's waffle day tomorrow. I love going to breakfast because it's just a wonderful way for me to start my day. I hang out with my friends, I have a nutritious meal. I also love that Hawkeye has breakfast like on a real note because sometimes I know students don't have enough time to eat breakfast at home. But if you go to Hawkeye, then you can have a home cooked meal every morning. My next favorite memory, my seventh favorite memory, is probably gonna be attending senior signing day last year as a freshman. Now obviously I was not signing to a college, I was a freshman but I just enjoyed going and watching. So in case you don't know what signing day is, they have it at other schools, I think. It's when the athletic board hosts a ceremony for all the seniors who have committed to play their sport at a collegiate level. And even though I wasn't really a part of the signing day, I liked going because I liked hearing the seniors' speeches. I liked hearing the coaches' speeches about them. There were cookies with their college sports and names on them. I love that Hawkeye Day celebrates each other's accomplishments, and I think signing day is a perfect example of that. My next favorite memory at Hawkeye Day is going to be my first ever debate tournament. I love debate. That is my fine art that I do. And I love debate because it's so challenging, but at the same time, it's so interesting and rewarding. Essentially, you're coming up with arguments on the spot about complex topics like, for example, big tech or Russian containment policy or economic sanctions. Before debate, I didn't even know what economic sanctions were, but now I know all about current world events. And actually, I'm going to show you some of my flows. This is one of my flows. So basically what a flow is, it's you have to write down notes during a debate, like you write down your arguments and their arguments and you put them side by side so that when you're thinking of arguments to clash, you can easily visualize them. And I like to keep my flows so I can review arguments so that I can improve. My fifth favorite memory is going to be attending the DFW Colloquium. You might be wondering, Libby, what is that? Let me tell you. So I love writing and the DFW Colloquium, it's kind of like a writing convention that's held in the Dallas area every year. Last year it was held at ESD. I think this year it will be virtual, but there was a topic, for example, we, we wrote, I wrote an essay about Clint Smith's poetry. But when we went there, we got to hear perspectives and ideas from people from all around Dallas, all around the community. And I love that because I love just the mixing pot of ideas but at the same time, it's about one general subject. So I feel that I am advancing my understanding of the world around me, but at the same time, I'm gaining a specialized knowledge about one specific subject. 
My fourth favorite memory of Hockaday is gonna be the Hila Hockaday Sage Surprise Birthday Party. So imagine, I think it was like Thursday or something. I just came out of a history test. I was quite tired. I was walking to lunch and then I see what? There's balloons everywhere. There's cookies everywhere and Rice Krispies. And I'm thinking, what is going on? What is all this fun stuff? And it turns out the lunch staff had hosted a surprise birthday party for our school's founder, Ela Hockaday. One of the reasons why I loved this moment so much is because it reminded me that Hockaday is more than a school. It's a community in a home full of people who want to brighten each other's day. My third favorite memory of Hockaday actually happened just a few weeks ago. And it was Halloween. And I've always loved Halloween. Like even before Hockaday, it's been one of my favorite holidays. I don't know if it's because my birthday is in October or, but I, anyway, I just love Halloween. And I love Halloween and Hockaday because we get to dress up. But you might be thinking, Libby, other schools get to dress up. What's different about Hockaday? I'll tell you, a lot of the students at Hockaday really go all out for Halloween. For example, my friend Amber, she dressed up as the potato head from Toy Story. And it was so funny. She had this huge inflatable costume. And I remember I was walking out of history class and I looked down the hall and I see this huge balloon, essentially, that's just waddling down the hall. And I was thinking, that's Amber. I know it's Amber because she was telling me what she was gonna wear. And it just lit up my whole day. I just brought a huge smile to my face for the rest of the day. My second favorite memory of Hockaday is going to be delivering Halloween candy grams for student council. So I'm my class president. This year, the council organized um, an activity that would respect social distancing rules. So we had candy grams. So essentially they could just buy candy grams that we can then deliver it to their friend. And it was a nice way to bri brighten up somebody's day. Now it is the moment we've all been waiting for. My final, my very favorite, my first memory on this list. What's my favorite memory of Hockaday ever in my six years here? It was actually once again, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> I played field hockey and it was when we played against Green Hill, we went into double overtime, we went into 1v1s, and then we won the 1v1s. So essentially it was a field hockey game. We played the game and then we tied at the end. And then the coach was like, okay, let's go into overtime. So we went into overtime and then nobody scored in overtime. And so then we went to double overtime. We were there a really long time. And then we were in double overtime. And so what you do after double overtime is you go into 1v1s, which is essentially where the team chooses five players and they go one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and they just try and score. And I actually made my goal and I was so excited. I was so nervous because their goalie is really good, the Green Hole goalie. But I made my goal, super fun. And I just ran up to my team after that and we we're all like, yay. So, and then we won. That wraps up the end of Libby's top 10 favorite memories at Hockaday YouTube video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you got to catch a little bit of a glimpse into my Hockaday experience. And yeah, so subscribe down below, like, comment. Let me know which of these memories to you sounded the most memorable or the most fun. Anyway, have a great day.